What's up ninjas? What is going on on this Thunder Bumper Tuesday? Hope all you ninjas are doing good. Me and Busy B are just checking out this 2013 F350 and Busy B just ran across the street real quick to use the restroom, but we're gonna go ahead. We uh, drove it on the highway, we drove it around town, and I had made an appointment with a dealer shop uh, to do an inspection, but I think at this point, Busy B and I have kind of done an inspection of our own. Now, keep in mind, ninjas, we're not professional mechanics, but uh, we both have some common knowledge on uh, basic, you know, transmission things to look out for and uh, motor and engine things to kind of look out for, certain sounds and things, you know, just something that I have learned over the course of years, and I know Busy B has as well. So at this point, um, I'm debating should I even go and spend that hundred dollars at the dealer uh, at the diesel shop, mechanic shop, and I have them basically tell me the same thing what I have already, what we have already discovered and found out ourselves. So I'm not sure on that, but when he gets back, we're gonna together walk around and kind of show you a couple of things that we have uh, noticed that stands out to us, and. Uh, Please, ninjas, down in the you know comment section. Also, if it's something that we missed, point it out to me, man. Uh, I'm not buying this truck today, nor did I plan to. But I uh, I wanted to see. I was pretty serious about this truck, so I wanted to definitely uh, get a closer look. But if it's something that you guys catch, um, feel free to leave me a comment down below. All right, so Busy B and I are gonna walk you through just. Uh, we're gonna check out the uh, visual from uh, distance here. Now this is a 2013 F350 6.7 liter power stroke. Um, it is the uh, tuxedo metallic, right, black. And it is the Lariat package. Now as we walk around, um, there's a couple of things that stood out to us visually. One, we've noticed that this uh, is losing its paint right here. And then there's a small little where the clips are just loose, I guess, or they have broken. Um, nice rims and tires. What did you say those are? 37s? Yeah, 37. Okay, so that's that's um, even bigger than what Tiny's got because Tiny's got 35s. Um, overall, for the year, looking just at the body ninjas, it looks fine. It looks minimal, minimal scratches and things like that, which is expected not a big deal and uh you know you've got the bed here it looks clean we actually looked underneath this this looks really clean like the dealership might have popped it in there underneath here it does look like it's just been used but nothing nothing crazy nothing that that is alarming so to say and uh walking all the way back around here that's about all i can point out visually except if you now the hood is popped open if you look at this line right here and if you look straight down now i'm going to move with the camera you're not going to be able to really see it if i just stand here with the camera busy b will point it to you exactly what we're talking about and now what what do you want what are we looking at you got these two lines right here and this side right here looks like it's just a tad bit higher higher so the bed looks like on this side it's a tad bit higher okay now if we go around the other side if we follow it follow it follow it right here it almost looks like this side is definitely a little higher but it's a little more even than the other side okay busy b what is the number one thing on this truck that we both said actually before we even took it off the lot how clean the frame is. How clean the frame is. Let's show them. Point it to them. Ninjas for a 2013, this frame is way too clean. I'll tell you what, Tiny's frame is not that clean. Uh -huh. And Tiny's a 2017. So it looks like, touch it with your finger, Busy B. I'm holding the camera. It looks like it's got some kind of grease on it. Maybe spray paint uh, or oil-based type ordeal. Uh, you see a bunch of bubbles around here as well. Now, these are things that... I am noticing and I'm also sharing with you ninja so if you are in the market of buying a new truck don't you just love the train love these are some of the things that maybe you should also look out for 
anytime you see bubbles like this it just means it's just been somehow respray painted or something um, didn't think of it nothing too crazy at first but then it's all the way around the whole frame so it just makes you wonder like when it's this clean a lot of times people have gone the extent lengths to make it look really nice on the outside because there's deeper issues on the inside now this truck does have a lift by bds and uh you also said busy said uh it's probably got a body uh would you it's got a body, lift. body lift because look at the gap between the bumper and the uh, grill right here so what else did you just now notice busy B? go ahead and show it to us one of these bays are pushed in okay they're pushed in you got one right here and then one right there and then let's look at this other side so they're not the same they're not the same so things like that it's really important when you're looking to buy a new truck a newer truck whatever you want to brand new or really when you're buying a used truck but uh you know you want to really try to take your time and walk around and truly try to see every little bit of it now this truck is tuned right yeah. and um you want to pop the hood bisby it is tuned so it does not use any def fluid anymore there's the engine of course it's clean they're going to clean that a um, couple of things we noticed on the engine are what got an aftermarket air filter okay and then i can't remember exactly what that's called this yeah yeah i'm not really sure myself the name so that looks like new battery so that's good uh, there's a bunch of wiring that's just not plugged up anywhere yeah there's one right here too um let me pop up up in here you want to pull the uh, oil stick and show the oil it is very very black oil which means this oil it has not gotten an oil change in a long time Trying to zoom that in or focus focus okay yeah that's not good now the transmission fluid is not really reddish it's more like a caramel color yeah and so that's pretty concerning when we pull the oil stick or the oil cap what does it do smokes a little bit has a weird smell to it and it does smoke one other thing that we really noticed that all of the what all the bushings to the body are completely shot They're starting to crack at the bottom and one of the reasons uh it brought our attention to look at those is because of a rough ride i mean it's got a really rough ride which i expected a little bit because of the 37s and being that it has a uh, uh, the whole you know being lifted and all but it was uh, a lot rougher than normal and if you go really faster in a curve uh, you have to slow down or it'll throw you off the road so if you look even through here all these bushings are gonna have to be replaced bottom line and if we even go down underneath the truck look at that bushing I don't know how well you can see that's shot all the bushings on this body are completely completely shot look at this one Look at that. Looks like it at first we were like, it looks like it had some kind of an oil leak. And I was like, okay, well, it looks like it's fixed. Cause that's stuff that kind of stuff is minor ninjas. You know, I mean tiny's had an oil leak. But then if you go behind the oil pan and look in here. I don't know how well you can see with the camera, but it has actually got some fresh oil right through there. So that means the upper oil pan has got a leak as well. And the way to replace that one, I know for a fact, is you have to disconnect the transmission. And, uh, you know, it, it's a freaking job. Another thing I've noticed, everything's just spray painted. Even the calipers are spray painted. And I've never really seen a truck that it has so much spray paint. Another bushing that's completely shot, right there. 
but there's just a lot of stuff that stands out that is alarming with this truck. We also noticed that the actual body right here has been cut for whatever reason. Yeah, that's that's definitely not factory. <laughs> there is a dent up here and then it looks like there at some point he had something or previous owner had something right here, but he took it off. Now this truck does have 105, 106,000 miles. Now, Busy B, what is the one other thing that was the biggest that stood out to us while driving? Transmission. Transmission. Now, what's the transmission doing? Shifts funny every now and then. Shifts real funny every now and then. And uh, when it switches gears around 3,000 RPMs, it's got a kick to it. Yeah. At first, we weren't really sure if that's part of the tune. Sometimes that can, depending on what type of a tune it might have, right? Yeah. Uh, but as we got closer and closer inspecting it and getting a really feel for it and slowing down coming to a complete stop and and going about 20 miles an hour and then gunning it yeah. uh, we've noticed a hard shift with a big hit and uh, it is repetitive so what does that mean busy beat for some of the ninjas out there who may not be aware of what that what's the sign of that could be the torque converter locking in and out or the clutch is going out in it speak basic english because that's a mechanical uh, wording does that mean the transmission is going out pretty much pretty soon maybe would be okay for driving a, like this but what if i start pulling a trailer probably tear it up a lot quicker now the price that the dealership is asking I would give it. never now they're asking thirty-seven thousand for it they're probably uh, willing to work around 34 35 still feels high considering what we have discovered yeah so ninjas, we're gonna go take it for a spin. I'll let Busy B drive and I'll record. You got your license, right? Yeah. Okay, I just wanna make sure because uh, last night you were dropping your wallet and everything in my driveway. Yeah. All right. Ran off without it. Okay, safety first. Okay, drink my coffee here. Now, hey, take it easy now. I'm <laughs> drinking my coffee. Got it! Okay. Now, how, do, how does it feel on the power? Would you compare it to Tiny because it's the same engine or no? I think Tiny's got a little bit more power. Tiny's got more power. Tiny puts you in the seat, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. So this is a little bit more sluggish, would you say? Why do you think that is? Especially after having it tuned, could it be a wrong tune? Yeah, yeah, running too lean, too rich. Okay, I'm not gonna get this truck. I'll tell you that right now. I already know. I've I've already concreted that, and uh, but it's been fun checking it out. You know, it's been fun taking a look at it. But I need something that's gonna be reliable and not. And the biggest thing about all the little cosmetic stuff, even the bushings, is not a big deal, honestly. But that transmission, it, it, it just worries me. I need a truck that I can hook up to a trailer anytime at any point and go. And uh, I just don't feel like I have that with this truck. No. So. Let's see if we can get that transmission to kick. Watch it, ninjas. You hear that? You feel it? It feels like it's got a hard kick. It, it's got a kick, and it's right around, what was it, 3,000 RPMs roughly? Around three, three and how, five. About, what, 65, 70? Yeah. And that is the biggest concern of it all. The motor seems to be running actually fine. Yeah. But the transmission, and the transmission is it, as important, if not more important, than the motor. Yeah because that's what makes the vehicle move. <laughs> One other last thing, Busy B. What's the uh, average transmission uh, temperature? Uh, probably 170, 180. Okay, 170, 180. And they say that burning the transmission around what temperature? About 200. Now this temperature right here, as we've been driving it all day, or 
last hour or so. What has it gone up to? 200 to 205. 205. Maybe that explains why it's slipping or yeah. kicking. Also, oil temperature up to 200 at one point, 198, 199. So there's just a lot of stuff to this truck, Ninjas, that it's a beautiful truck. Um, someone's had a lot of fun with it, but it, uh, it needs a lot of money and that is not what I'm looking for. So I will uh, pass on this and continue on my journey of looking at trucks. Well, Ninjas, we're back home. Busy Bee's just taking the old red for a little spin in the neighborhood. We just changed the oil on it. It's something I've been meaning to do for a while. Oil definitely needed it, even though it doesn't get used a lot, Ninjas. If you let a truck or a vehicle sit for a while, whether you use it a lot or, or if you let it sit more than being used, the oil will break down over time and uh, it, it still really needs to be changed. I love that old red, man something about it something about old trucks they're just they're the best dependable you better watch mama's suv she's gonna get you well pretty good. runs pretty good yeah. shifts pretty good no like no it. jerking or anything like that ford no, no oh. like that okay so how was it today it's pretty good. Pretty good day? Yeah. We didn't do much, did we? No. But uh, we'll definitely uh, kick tail tomorrow. We've got a, a busy, busy day. Busy B. <laughs> but Ninjas, I hope you enjoyed um, on a little ride with us. Uh, it didn't work out, but that's just what it is. You got to check them out before you uh, buy someone else's problem. But thanks for tuning in for another one. We'll see you tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Whack a granny Wednesday. Take care, Ninja. Saving Grace. Peace. Bye, Miss B. Saving.